Gamerber76. Hello everyone, I'm the Gamerber76 and this is my 61st ever video. Today I'm playing with Clay. And that's it. This is recorded afterwards and I'm accidentally wearing this shirt for three videos in a row. The other two were recorded at the same time. This one is not. So, whoopsie. <laughs> Anyways, get, get to the clay. Welcome to my tabletop. Ignore how it's painty, I haven't changed it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm bringing in the clay, which is Crayola, which is eh, kind of badish, but it's good enough for me. So, I'ma use it. I opened up the container, put that down, and then got a nice hunk of clay, and then I gotta massage it together. Anyways, full speed because I it was massaged it a whole lot. So now I gotta think of what do I sculpt it into? How about the monkey? Yeah, this is gonna turn into monkey. First grab about half of the hunk and then I rolled it up and into his body shape, which I don't know exactly how to describe it, but when I'm done, you'll be able to see what shape I made. Kind of like a squishy triangle with a flat top. I'm gonna say that. And I'm making his arms right now, which, oh no, these are his legs. I'm making his legs right now, and then I'm smoothing them on. And now I'm gonna make him another leg, because he has to have two legs. Shut the frick up, Goober. Nobody asks you. Nobody, not even a monkey, only has one leg. Well, some have zero. And I smoothed it out with water. And then I got my dotting tool to add little toes to his feet, which is very important detail. Uh, that's pretty good. So I got another little hunk from my original hunk, rolled it into like a tube, I guess, or more of a cylinder. Is that the same thing? I don't know. And made out of that shape, kind of like a macaroni elbow, and then put his arm like that. Wait a second, monkeys' are, arms aren't like that. Well, the original painting I did was his arms were like that, and that's how I wanted to make it. I just didn't have a squishy with the right hand positions. I poked a hole through the original part of the hand, and then I made a little thingy like that and tried to carve in some finger details. I didn't really like that, so I'm gonna sculpt my own fingers separately, which I did end up not liking. I don't think I liked it. And then I cut them shorter because they weren't good. And then I just slabbed it on, I think. Yep. And I tried to smooth it with my finger. And then I smoothed it with the stirrer stick and made his fingers shorter again. And then I did that process again, but with a normal piece of clay. And that looks pretty okay, I guess. Oh, and now I need to add my fingers. Now that looks good. Now I'm gonna do pretty much that whole process again, except for like the experimental parts on the other side. So let me just do that real quick. And now his other arm is finished. Now there's one thing missing, his head. So I grabbed a relatively small chunk and then try put on his head. That looks nice and good, same words, but I tried again. And I think that one looks better this time. And now I'm grabbing a small circle of clay. I just rolled that out and then cut it in half. Wait. Wait. There we go. In half. Brought that over to his head and then decided they're too big. So I used half of it, which is one ear turn that into a circle, and then cut that in half. And those are his ears. Yippee. He has ears, he can hear. That's the second time I've had to sculpt his ears. <laughs> then I smoothed his ears onto his head with various tools. And I smoothed that his face. And then I just quick, yep ripped off his head so I can do some scoring so that they actually stick better because <laughs> I forgot to do that earlier. And then I carved in little details for his ears. And then I made
made a little dot thing, put it on his face, and then decided no. And then I made a smaller one and put that one on his face because he has a little nose bump part, so I had to make that. I smoothed it with water and stuff. I carved out this little bit here so his leg looks a little bit less like a chunk. <laughs> yeah. And then I recarved his toes because I accidentally squished those while handing the rest of them. Now I have another coffee stirrer stick, I steal a lot of these, and then cut it in half at a diagonal car curve, because I wanted a smaller tool so I can make him fuzzy. Well, it's not really quite fuzzy, it's just hair, but I thought that detail would be nice since I'm sculpting it and I can, so I will. I almost forgot this part. I'm gonna make him a tail with some clay, obviously. Why am I talking like I don't know what I'm doing? The little bit of clay, and then I just attached it to his back. That's all good. Now here's him drying. This is my drying station if you're curious. And, and while we're letting that dry, I'm gonna make another thing. So I'm gonna grab another good hunk of clay. That's all of it. I don't want all of it. Splat it on the table. And then massage it together again. Anyways, go that faster because this one I actually massaged a whole lot. And here it is. Now what should I sculpt? How about monkey's counterpart, nun knee rabbit? Yeah, so I'm grabbing like half of a chunk again, even a smaller amount, making a nice body shape for the nun knee. And then I made a ball, a kind of elongated sphere, sort of. And then I tried to put that on her as a leg. And then I smoothed that on. And then I ripped it off because I didn't like it. <laughs> made it half the size and squished it smaller. Made it like the elongated circle again. It's more of a tube now. I smoothed it with water. And then I grabbed the other circle, which is half of the original leg, and made it the same as the other one. And I also gave her little toes. And with this hunk, when I got her a little arm, I wanted it smaller, so I made it smaller. Her arms are actually how the original squishy was, because I liked it. <laughs> I thought it was cute. And I got some more clay to make a head for her, which I scored first this time so I didn't have to rip off her head. And then I smoothed on her head. And with this ball of clay, I gave her a little snout too, which I'm not, yeah, it is almost squishy. And I grabbed another thing of clay and made a cylinder, cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. And then that is an ear, oh boy, that's too big. So I cut those in half and then made them longer eventually. I flipped her ear over like it is on Squishy, and then I realized, oh wait, I don't have to do that, so I made it go up again. And then I scored on for her ears, and then I got another piece of clay, and then I tried to make a little flower for her, because she does have one on her head. It doesn't look quite like a flower, but it's good. I think I added a tail, and then I made her fuzzy, furry, hairy, whichever one you want to use. And here's her drawing next to Monkey. And now that monkey's dry, see, dry, uh, his tail fell off, but that that's okay. It probably would have fallen off anyway, so I'm glad it fell off at this stage before I painted it. Grabbed a palette, and also my orange, this brown color that I forget what it's called, and this brown, and I got rid of that brown because I couldn't find it originally. And I opened the dark brown, squeezed some of it out, and got my monkey, and then I color che checked and I thought it was good enough, so I'm going to paint the brown parts on. By the brown parts I mean all the places that has hair. I accidentally painted his hands like that too, but that's okay, I'll fix that later. Got some orange and then some white, a whole lot of white, because I said, I think I saw someone who said that in a comment, that they use light orange for skin. Then I added some pink to it, because I think they also said pink. Mix that up. <gasps> and that surprisingly did not get on my clothes. I know, I'm surprised too. 
and this color is not what I wanted at all. So I got some golden brown, I think that's what it's called. Squeeze some of it out separately, is that the right color? No. So I wiped off my stirring stick and scooped up some white paint and put it on that golden brown part. Use quite a bit of it. And I add more brown. I added some orange too. And I dipped, dipped into the thing and covered his face in the paint. Not only his face, the other hairless areas like the bottom of his feet and his hands and the insides of his ears. And I got more brown to do some touching up of the brown areas. I got my orange and squeezed some of that out so I can do his robes. Robes. I dipped into the orange and then covered him in orange. Hey, that's pretty good. So I got some pink, squeezed that out, and closed it, put it to the side. I dipped into the pink, Let's brush some of it off, and then put it on his cheeks because Monkey e is blushing for some reason. It doesn't make sense. And then I decided, no, the skin doesn't look accurate to the squishy. So I got my orange. Squeeze that into a, a palette, and then I added some golden brown and a wh whole bunch of white because I thought it was too dark. And mix that up, and then dip and covered up all the skin parts in that color, which now looks inaccurate because it's too light. So, because it's too light, I added some orange to it because I wanted it to look accurate, as accurate as I could get it. And then I mixed it up, and then I covered all the parts with skin in that color, which I thought was very good, so I kept it. And then I got a different brush and dipped it in pink for his blush, because I thought it looked... that brush gave the right blushing effect. And then I grabbed a pen and drew his mouth and nose and eyes and stuff. And also his eyebrows. And then I g gave him his tail that fell off, so it's 2D now. Can you tell I really like doing tracking shots? And then I filled that in a bunch. I flipped him back over. I flipped him a lot. And I grabbed my pen and filled in the little indents I made for inside of his ears, because I thought those needed to be, like, emphasized. And I grabbed my matte Mod Podge, only the matte kind, because it's the only one I have. Poured that into my palette, put a little bit more. Closed it, grabbed my biggish brush, and then coated the top half of him in Mod Podge. I coated the bottom half too, but I didn't record it because I needed it to dry in between. And here's him next to the original Monk E box in my mom's Buddha shrine. Here he is next to Monk E the squishy. He does look a little bit pale still, I just realized, but that's okay. And now for the nun me grabbed the same brown I used because I wanted them to look the same, and I coated all of her hair slash fur bits. I dipped in my orange and colored where her robes would be. I forgot to color her feet. I don't know if I forgot to or intentionally did it, but I didn't yet. I just saw that. I'm gonna put that down. It fell. And then I picked her up and I got my pink, squeezed some of that out. And my yellow squeezed some of that out. Took me some effort to get it out. And then I dipped into the pink and covered her flower in pink. And then got my orange to do the middle of the flower in orange because that's what her squishy looks like. Or the flower on her squishy looks like. And then I added pink to the inner ears. And I decided to add some red to my palette. And then I added some pink to it because I didn't like the original color I used for the flower dip into it and color it. Yes, I didn't like how the pink of the ears was the exact same as the pink of the flower. I dipped into the pink again. Oh yeah, for her blush, which she is also blushing for some reason. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I added a little pink dot for her nose. Isn't that cute? I don't know. And with a different pen from earlier, I tried to draw her face, but that didn't go well. 
because I actually did this one first. I have a different pen from earlier. So I got the pen I used earlier, and that one worked much better. And I even gave her eyebrows, well, one. And I dipped in my Mod Podge and covered her in the Mod Podge because she's finished too. Here's her next to the Monk E figure. And here's her next to the Nun E squishy covering the Monk E figure. Okay, that's all for the voiceover guy. They're done. Yippee. These are the only things I made because I thought it was good and also I ran out of time to sculpt more because it takes like a whole day to dry. Anyways, I thought of a story about him, why he's smart enough to be meditating, even though he's just a monkey. It's like, you know how in the evolution line, monkeys are in there somewhere and then there's humans at the end. Well, he's mentally evolved into a human, but he's physically not. So that's why he's able to be a monk. She has no reason. She's just a smart rabbit. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and goodbye. <laughs>